All right, so this is our treasure keep metal. Now, I have a 20 word seed phrase here. Now, um, this is an empty one, so don't get all excited and think that you're going to um, you know, use this seed phrase to make yourself rich because it's empty, there's nothing on it. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, there's like this tearaway thing. So these boxes, uh, even this keep key comes with like some anti uh, some uh, anti tampering stuff. Uh, there it is. Your wallet backup has unlocked invincibility. It's pretty cool. So uh, this thing is heavy. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Uh, oh okay, okay. So it comes with um, a felt tip pin pen. Pardon me for uh, getting ready because basically what you need to do with this thing. And this is the first time I've opened one. Uh, let's unscrew this. Ooh, I think it unscrews. Wow, this thing is just so, okay. Okay, yeah, ooh. Man, the, the feel of this is just incredible. This is like, um, it's like finely crafted metal here. So uh, it's very heavy too. So woo, look at that. Woo, doggy. That is really cool. All right, so basically what you've got here. Ah, uh, now, okay, so you could conceivably use this for a multi-share, right? Because uh, you've got those marks as well. So uh, basically, if you look at this thing, and boy, it is really precise. Let me see if it'll come into focus there. Okay. So um, you can punch your word out onto this. And it has the letters. And if we open this here, you can see that uh, they go into how to use the puncher, uh, how to record the words uh, for multi-share and mark those off. If you're doing multi-share, of course, you would need to have more than one of these, right? You would need to have three or four of these. Um, but in that case, they give you the instructions and then they have some anti tamper proof seals that you can put on the device itself after you have recorded the seed phrase and closed it up. So they've provided all that for you in this little package here. Uh, of course, if you had a multi-share, you would want the, the shares to be separate. Of course, this is a single share, right? It's only one 20 word phrase, right? When we do multiple shares, uh, you would have three different 20 word phrases and uh, you would need at least two to do the, the restore from a multi-share with a three set. And then you could go to a five set where you know you would need at least three out of five or you could do a seven set where you need at least five out of seven to do your restore. This gives you some redundancy. It also gives you some um, uh, room for error. In other words, if someone were to come across one of your shares, they would not have access to the crypto. They would need the entire threshold. Uh, but we can talk more about multi-shares uh, down the road. Um, but uh, let me see if it's got... Okay, yeah. Let's see if it's... Okay, yeah. All right, so here's uh, where it explains in a little more detail about how you etch a word in. Um, and they, they give you the instruction. Each row, A to Z, is for one letter of your recovery seed word. The first letter on the first row, the second letter on the second row. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. I finally get it. Uh, the reason that you have four rows is because each of these words, even though they are English words and like syndrome, uh, they are unique up to four characters. So the only word in their uh, BIP or SLIP 39 list, th there's, there's only one word in the list that has these first four letters. Let's just put it that way. So when you're recording these words, you only need four characters for each word. And that's why you only you only need four um, slots for a letter, right? 
So, uh, and then uh, once you have the word, let's say if we got uh, word number one, shrimp, uh, the, the best practice <laughs> would be to uh, make sure you've got it right by using the magic marker. And it's very small, very precise. Uh, you want to make sure that you've got it right. Um, use a magnifying glass. If you, I probably would need a magnifying glass to make sure that you know, I've got this thing right. Uh, mark all these with uh, black, you know. Uh, so I would start with uh, S and hit S on the first row, H on the second row, R on the third row, and I on the fourth row. Bam. And then once I had marked those on word number one, I would take this thing and punch in, you push it down and it pops and it makes a, a mark, uh, which is uh, very permanent, right? So you might, you wanna make sure you're doing this right the first time. But once you've done that, once you've etched that in, uh, it's very durable, right? This thing could probably survive a nuclear war, right? And so you've, you, I mean, even uh, exposed, it would probably be uh, pretty, durable but inside this metal casing it's even more durable right we got waterproof fireproof uh fade proof cold proof freeze proof however you want to think about all that uh so this is a great way to uh, record your seed phrase and back it up right and as i mentioned it's uh, compatible with a multi-share so you would you could go out and just buy five or six of these things or you know, however many you want for your set, then you would create your multi-share. You can actually convert a single share into a multi-share, and then you would destroy the original single share. It's, well, you, it's arguable whether you need all the words, right? As I mentioned, the set does not, the set is unique up to four letters so there's really no need to record the entire word on this right um, unless of course like you don't have access to the entire word well even if you were doing a restore on your device after you type the first four letters the entire word would show up on your device so there's really no need to have the entire word recorded on this thing I'm just saying but I understand your concern. I mean, the reason why they use English words is because it's something that, you know people can wrap their heads around. Right. But yeah, I mean, this thing is very well made. Um, I don't. It's pristine, right? So I don't want to uh, mark it up right now until you know I'm using a secret phrase or maybe a multi-share. Uh, but that's really what this little thing is all about. It's really nice. Um, you can get these on the Trezor website. I have an affiliate link for the single share one. I have one that I don't have, haven't opened yet. So a uh, very durable way. But the whole idea of the Slip 39 is that their word set is only 1024 instead of 2048. The BIP 39 word list is 2048 words and uh, that get con that you use to the back up your seed phrase. The problem with the BIP 39 is that those 2048 words, although there's a lot of them, there's a lot of ambiguity in those words. So the SLIP 39 protocol was specifically designed to make the word list less ambiguous, right? Each word is distinct, right? If you look at this list of words, it's much more distinct than uh, a regular BIP 39 word list. I don't know if I've seen a lot of them, and a lot of the words that are very, a lot of the words in the list are very similar, and you could easily accidentally uh, see one word and write another, right? Be just be, you know, from Gestalt, right? So these, the, the slip 39 word list is much more distinct. We'll put it that way. Another uh, 
advantage of the SLIP39 protocol, uh, you'll notice that they always have words three and four are academic. This is for the check sum. So it is much more difficult to um, write down your word incorrectly or your words incorrectly because of the uh, increased check sums, right? Um, they're stricter and stronger. Uh, there, there is a small chance uh, when you're writing down a normal 24 word seed phrase from the BIP 39 word list that you could write down one or two of your words incorrectly and still pass the verification check. It's like a 0.4% chance. Uh, but that 0.4 is, I wouldn't want to accept that, you know, when I'm dealing with, you know, let's say I'm, I'm hodling 10 Bitcoins. Do I want a 0.4 chance that I could accident, accidentally write my seed phrase down incorrectly? And then later when my device goes kaput and I go to restore, it's a bunch of empty accounts. Do I really want to take that 0.4% chance that that could happen? That's why the slip 39 uh, protocol uh, decreases that risk. I don't know what the, the exact figure is, but it's much, much less than that 0.4% chance of writing down. In other words, the, the checksum of the 20 word seed phrase is much stricter. So if you write down a word incorrectly, it's going to like, eh. um, so uh, they've increased the, uh, the el legibility, readability, the uniqueness of all of the words, and they've also increased the checksum to reduce your risk of writing it down incorrectly. These are big problems. You may not realize that. I have dealt with people that have written down the wrong seed phrase and have lost access to their crypto for one reason or another, and it's heartbreaking, right? So we need a better method, an improved method of managing our seed phrases. And the, bit, the, the slip 39 is a huge improvement. I really am amazed at the work that they're doing in, at Satoshi Labs. Satoshi Labs are the people that, um, you know, make the Trezor devices. They were also instrumental in creating the BIP39 protocol that all the hardware wallets are using now. So it's pretty good bet that hardware wallets, uh, other hardware wallet companies will start to adopt the 20 word seed phrase. Pretty cool stuff. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.